Hi students. Now yesterday we said that today we're going to go back to the two parts that we have here in every unit. You now the parts that I am talking about are going to be the grammar, structure, and also the structures that we have here in the form, meaning, and function part. Now we're going to go back to our first unit, which is two is better than one. And in our unit, there is a kind of map that I want to follow with you. Now we took others, other, another. We took emphatic do, the present simple, the present progressive, words connected to museums and galleries, intensifiers with gradable adjectives, and also intensifiers with ungradable adjectives. Now these are all the parts that we took in the structure. We are going to follow up and see uh, that uh, we have uh, just uh, checked on uh, each part of them. And uh, whenever we check something, we'll also just put here a small tick to make sure that we are on track. So we're going to start. Before we start, now we have this little guy here. He's going to give us hints and help us just move on, just a little bit hints to help us. Uh, so let's get to work. Uh, first of all, in the grammar part, we had other, others and another, and also we have here, of course, do, which is the emphatic do, not the regular one. Now, here we have some exercises. Uh, some is from the book and some are from the, uh, the exercise book, actually. So we're going to go past them very quickly. Of course, we have here others, other and another, and I'm going to just comment and uh, remind you why we put the answer that we have. Now, the first one, I'm, always done, I'm almost done with this cup of hot chocolate. Can you please bring me? So I have a cup and I want another. Some predators wait for their prey to come to them. Full stop, predators chase their prey. So actually we have here predators as a uh, uh, plural. So I'm going to say here other, not others. I can't have two plurals. So I have here other predators. And put in mind that you have to start with a capital. Uh, Don is so materialistic, although he has two cars, he already, or he's going to buy another. One lucrative crop for many farmers is soybeans. Also, another is corn. So whenever you are adding, in addition, you're going to add another. He excels in football, track, gymnastics, and a handful of sports. Also, it's like the uh, first one, which is predators. I have here plural, which means that I'm going to choose other. That store is a chain. There are a few in Spain and Italy and in France and Germany. Now this time, I'm going to talk about plurals, but I don't have the noun. Now you can see that sports is a noun and predators is a noun. Here there is no noun mentioned, so it's okay to use the word others. One of the most famous children's books is by Dr. Seuss is The Cat in the Hat, blank, R, R, R. And then we have here the two titles. So we have here, we're going to say others are. One option would be to spend the money on a vacation. Also, in addition, another option would be, or we can say another would be to put it in a savings account. Now here we have the same uh, idea. It's about another, others, and other. But the question is, read each sentence and tick whether the underlined word is an adjective or a pronoun. And here we're going to get the hint that we are, uh, we need, which is if there is a noun after the uh, or the the underlined word, here it's going to be just a description, which means an adjective. If there is no noun. It will be the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to start. We have here, sure, I'd love another. There is no noun, which means that we have here an adjective or a pronoun, sorry. I have another computer. There is a noun. So I'm describing the computer, which makes it an adjective. Some documentaries are interesting, full stop. Others aren't, the other sentence. No noun, which means that we have here a pronoun. We need to get another car, 
A car is a noun actually, so we have here this is an adjective. Is there any other food? Food is also a noun, which means that we have here an adjective. Many of the teachers are leaving, others aren't, exactly like number three, so we have here a pronoun. I'm going to sit at the table with the other kids. Kids is a noun, which means that we have here an adjective. And I can't find my math book anywhere. I might just buy another, which means that we have here a pronoun. Moving on, let's see what we have. Yes, now we have here, this is going to be the last exercise that we have for others, other, and another. And actually here we have a lot of exercises because you have to make sure that you differentiate between the three types. So we have here, would you like a cup of tea? So I want an addition. We have here another. Sure, I would love also an addition, which means another. Do you have pen? Now I want an extra, an addition. So we have here also another. I'm sorry, I have others or other, but I left them in my locker. Make sure that you read the complete sentence. So we have here from the word them, it's plural. So we have here other, I have others, but I left them in my locker. It's cold outside. You might want to wear another, other clothes. Clothes is plural. So we have here, we're going to say other. I'll be fine. I'll just wear another or other sweater. I'm talking about an addition, an extra. So we have here another sweater. Number four, I finished the reading. Did the teacher give us other or others homework? Of course, homework is, we have here other homework. And number five, these are great cookies. I'm glad you like them. Would you like another? Yes. Now, we have here, rewrite the sentence, adding the emphatic do, does, or did. Now, do you remember when we said that we can emphasize the sentence, making it stronger, using the emphatic do, does, or did. So we have here, we can use it either singular or plural in the present or we use it in the past. Now, like the first one, he eats shrimp. Because we have here eats means that we have here the present simple. So I'm going to emphasize saying he does eat shrimp. It rained in New York yesterday. Where is the verb? The verb is rained in the past. Emphasize using the past. It did rain in New York. I feel sick at the moment. We have here, feel is the base form of the verb. So we have here, I do feel sick. They come to school last week. We have here in the past, came at last week. So I'm going to emphasize using, they did come to school last week. Susan lives in Los Angeles. Also we have here singular, present simple. So Suzanne doesn't, or does, sorry, live in Los Angeles. Yes. Now here we have another exercise, which is a mix. We're going to mix between the emphatic do that we d uh, applied and also the uh, uh, part which has other, others and another that we practiced. So we're going to see what is the mistake in the sentence and correct the mistake. Like the first one here, we have here, I'm cold. Do you have other hat? We corrected other and put another hat. So, I do go to school yesterday. We have here yesterday is in the past. And uh, here, what is the, I can't say I do go yesterday. So here, do is going to be wrong and we're going to correct and put did instead. These shoes are uncomfortable. I think I'll wear other, I'm talking about shoes and uh, which are plural. We have a pair, so other is wrong, others. Faisal is going to the game with others, people. So we have here people. It's wrong to say others, people. I'm just going to correct it and write other without the S. Bob does wants to eat dinner with us. We have here, Bob does wants. We have here does and wants. The S is wrong, so we have here want. 
I think I'll buy another books. This, this one is boring. Actually, I'm talking about singular. So books here is wrong. I have here book. This ball is too small. Do you have another's? So we have here, I'm talking about one ball. So we have here another's wrong. And we have here just one, another. And here as structure, another's is completely wrong. She do have a class right now. I'm talking about a singular she. So do is wrong. We have here she does have. Some people agree with me. Other don't. I'm talking about people in general. So other is wrong. We have here others. They did went to the game last night. We have here did went and last night are on the past. So one of them is wrong, which is going to be went. And we have here they did go to the game last night. Did Asma get another computers? She already had two. So we have here computers is wrong because we have computer another in addition. So we have just one computer. Yes. Now we uh, practiced others, other, another, and put them in sentences. Also, we have here the emphatic do. Now we are going to move to the other part, which is the for meaning and function part, where we studied the present simple and we mentioned all the uh, rules that apply in the present simple. It is something that happens all the time. You have in the negative or the question, do or does. You apply the S with the verb in the affirmative sentence, and there is nothing, just the base form if it is plural. And of course, we have here the exclamations here and there are also used. In addition, we also had the present progressive part. So we said that we're talking about something that is happening now or something that is in a developing situation. Like if I'm saying that Riyadh is changing and getting bigger and bigger. We have here is plus verb ing for the singular, are plus verb ing for the plural, and we have here the same uh, differentiation between the singular and the plural pronouns. Also, we can use the adverbs, meaning that I can use always, continually, constantly with the sentences in the present progressive. Now, we have here, we're going to apply the present simple and the present progressive here in our sentences. So we have an interview with two company partners, circle the correct form. Now the presenter says, as more and more people, I'm talking about something that is changing and developing. So we have here, are setting up business together. These days, we interview two friends who are trying, are trying to make a go. So this is something that they are doing at the moment. We have here, they are trying. We. Since it is an interview and he's talking now, which means that we have here, we are waiting for our first pair to arrive. Ah, uh, there, there, are they, or they are. So we have here, it's a way to just, uh, we have here, we're going to use there, they are for the present simple. Let's welcome Ali and Faisal. So tell us about your experience of working together. You are or are being web designers, aren't you? Here we have a tag question and we have a statement. So we have here, you are. How things go or how are things going? Of course, we have here a question. How are things going? A yes, no question. Is the business or the business is working out as it, as it is planned? We have here a yes, no question. Is the business working? Well, it is, is being actually easier. So we have here, I'm turning from the present progressive that we used in the first part to the present simple. We have here, it is actually easier than we thought. First of all, let me explain. We have or are having, so in general, they are running a business, so they have. We have here, they have a software program. That also, we have here present simple, assists our customers. So why am I saying that it is present simple? Because we are presenting something that is a routine. It's their job. They do it every day. Anything that happens every day, it is going to be in the present simple. Here you go or are going. So we have here, here you go. This is, is being our website. I'm showing someone this is our 
website. The presenter says, wow, the site certainly seems or is seeming fantastic. Here also the present simple part. Are you believing? Do you believe that's all due to your partnership? A yes, no question. Do you believe? Because we have here. The uh, believe here is a state of verb that is used in the present simple. The last one, Faisal, oh yeah. It really helps, is helping to have two pairs of eyes on the screen and two pairs of hands to share the load. So it really helps. Here you can see that we applied both the present simple and the present progressive within our sentence and it showed that something is currently happening now at the moment and something is on daily basis. Now moving on, something else that we took in the form, meaning and function part, so we passed by till now, yes, six parts. We are going to move to words connected to museums and galleries. And in the lesson, we had this kind of division between the words. So some words are connected to archeological types of museums and galleries. Some are connected to technological and some are national. So we're going to do our exercise here. We have the table, three types, and we're going to see what goes with which. So here, the hint that we're going to have here from our guy here. Now hints for you, there are seven words. Now I'm going to choose seven words going with archeological. First, we're going to just go them by them one by one. We have here the word antiques. Do you think it goes with archaeological? Archaeological, something old. So yes, okay, so we have here the word antiques. Yes. Uh, culture also can, yes, it can be. Documents, something that is old. Archaeological, yes, sure, why not? Educational books, not so much, no. Uh, exhibitions, of course, yes, there are exhibitions in the uh, archaeological department. History, of course, we have here history. And, of course, we have here uh, jewelry. And we have manuscripts. So we have here, sorry, history uh, is left out because we have another part that's going to have history. So we have, we can say that archaeological, technological, and national, which one is going to be about history more? We can say that we have here, or we can share. And actually, you can add here archaeological history and both in, in the other part. Okay, let's move on. We have here the word jewelry. Manuscripts, yes. Okay, so we have here, why not? Uh, pottery, not so much. Robots, no. Ruins, of course, yes. We have here the words ruins. Science, seminars. So we have here, let's just count them. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're complete. Let's see the other part. Now the other part we have here, technological. Technological is some, the words that are connected to technological exhibitions or galleries or museums. So we have here, the hint is that we have here six words related. Now we're going to look for the six words. We can add the first part, which is uh, interactive displays, yes. And moving on, we can say pottery. No, I don't think so, it goes with it. How about robots? Is it connected to something technological? Of course, we have here the words robots. Uh, ruins, we're done with it. We can see the words science as well seminars or space so we have here the word space yes and we have here state of the art or we have here 3d digital cinema for scientific documents of course this is very clear and we have here it's the whole phrase so we have here one two three four five and the sixth one i'm going to take it from the first part the archaeological because actually I can say that we have here documents in both parts. The last part that we have, which is the national. The national, there are seven words. Now you can see that we have here in the national, of course, it's going to be obvious that we have here educational books. We have history, informative exhibits, pottery, seminars, 
and state of the art and also I can add one from the previous choices and say that we have here exhibitions as well. So we have here all of these words are related as we have here in the table between archaeological, technological and national galleries or museums. And we have covered up the part that we have. We can just move and make sure that yes we're on track which leaves us to the last part that we had in the form, meaning, and function, which is the gradable and non-gradable. We have here for measurements. Gradable, of course, means that we have here there are measurements. I can measure. So it can be measured in degrees, such as size, age, quality, and so on. Now we have here examples, just to remind you, like expensive, old, beautiful, important, etc. And the intensifiers that I can use are very, really, and extremely. So do you remember now the lesson we took using intensifiers with the adjectives? How many adjectives do we have as kinds? We have two kinds, gradable and ungradable. So the first one is done. We have the second one, the ungradable. It cannot, of course, be measured. We have the examples like priceless, ancient, stunning, crucial and so on and we have here the intensifiers you can see that really if you remember is used in both parts but we have here absolutely and quite is used instead of very and extremely so we have here the intensifier really can be used with both gradable and non-gradable as we said this is going to be our last exercise that we have here just to uh, apply the rules that we took now the new gallery, of course there is a small note here. We have here circle the correct words. In some cases, both words are correct. We're going to see. The new gallery is extremely or completely popular with visitors. We can say that it is extremely popular. It is a really or very amazing place. We can have here a really amazing place to go when you are in the center of the city. The works of art on display are pretty or absolutely stunning. We have here the words absolutely. The paints are in totally or extremely bright colors. We have here the word or the adjective bright, extremely bright. Though there are some quite very terrifying illustrations, we have here terrifying is an adjective that takes the intensifier quite. There are also a number of sculptures which are quite or extremely beautiful. So we have here extremely beautiful. And some of them are very or absolutely priceless. We have here priceless means something that doesn't have a value. We have here it is ungradable and that's why we have here absolutely. There is a quite or really massive selection of exhibits. So we have here, we can say quite, and actually we can say really massive. And the admission prices are very or quite reasonable. We can say that they are quite reasonable. Among those often exhibited there are many absolutely or really important local. We have here really important local and foreign artists. So don't miss it. It's absolutely fascinating. And we have covered the last part that we had. We covered the intensifiers with gradable ad adjectives and ungradable adjectives. We have covered up the part that we have here in the grammar the form, meaning, and function part. And we have just did a, a little bit of um, uh, a look back to the, uh, the basic structures that we took. So if you have just your tick with you or the check mark, just check and make sure that you passed all uh, by them all and you have understood each one of them. What does it have or how does it function in the sentence? So we have here the same thing we will be doing, inshallah, tomorrow in Unit 2, so be ready.